You know, radon is something all homeowners should be concerned about, but it often comes up when you're in the market for a new home. Or if you're trying to sell your other one. Mm -hmm. What if an inspection turns up high radon levels in the home you want or own? What should you do? Joanne Purden is here with some advice from Consumer Reports, so you don't waste your money. Joanne. Yeah, Stephen and Carolyn, your first instinct may be to walk away from a home you're looking to buy with elevated radon levels, but Consumer Reports is not so fast. That while this odorless gas is deadly serious, addressing the problem can be easy. It's no secret radon is dangerous. A radioactive gas, radon is emitted from the soil that can seep into homes and buildings through cracks. Inhaling it has been linked to lung cancer, killing an estimated 21,000 people a year. But Consumer Report says if you've set your sights on a home with dangerous levels of radon, don't panic. Radon-related deaths are due to exposure over the course of a lifetime. You should definitely take it seriously, but you really don't need to walk away from the home. It's actually pretty easy to remove radon, and it's not that expensive. Home inspections often include testing for radon using short-term kits. But since radon levels in a home can vary over time, it pays to follow up with your own test. Consumer Reports recommends the RTCA 4-Pass, which will get you the results in a week or less for $23. For a better representation, tests of at least 90 days, the AccuStar Alpha for $25. If levels read between 2 and 4 picocuries per liter, consider fixing your home. For about $1,200, you can remove radon by installing a pipe that vents it from the soil out through the roof. And don't forget, you can always use the expense of fixing the radon problem as a bargaining chip. It is important to note here the Environmental Protection Agency recommends all homeowners test their home's radon level, not just if you're moving or buying one, because again, it leads to so many lung cancer cases, so keep that in mind.